now let's talk about how to use eclipse plugin for hadoop okay so we have already seen how to install eclipse in our uh, ubuntu right so now what we have is we already have eclipse right we already have eclipse now earlier when we wanted to do any operations on sdfs we had to start our hadoop uh, services and then open your terminal and you start writing hadoop fs hyphen ls hadoop fs hyphen get hadoop fs hyphen put and so on now what we want to do is we don't want to do all those things you know uh, using command is there any ui right or is there any way i can still do these operations being from my eclipse that is what i want to i wanted to tell you yes so eclipse comes with a plugin okay hadoop plugin which you can use which you can use which you can configure in your eclipse so that whatever operation you want to do on your sdfs like getting the uploading the data downloading the data deleting the data and all can be done directly from eclipse okay and right now we are going to learn about it okay so let's go back to the system and we will see how exactly you can do those okay so back to my system now all right so let me share my screen okay and we are here we are here in our configuring eclipse in hadoop in eclipse okay so let me open this notes because this notes will tell you everything step by step okay hold it so right now i'll go back to my ubuntu wherein we have installed our eclipse so let's go to sd user this is my home okay here we have eclipse right this is the place where you have your eclipse installed now let me go back to my document let's see in the previous video we have already seen how to download and install eclipse in our ubuntu we have done that let's assume you have renamed it to a folder called eclipse okay so we have already done that and we have this eclipse folder with us all right let's move on copy the below jar file to plugins folder of eclipse so which jar file hadoop eclipse plugin 3.xyz.jar okay and where are you going to get this jar you are going to get this jar from me only you will not find them in internet because they have to be built so let me go back to my notes uh download and here i have a file hadoop eclipse plugin 3.3.0 this plugin will also work for 3.0.0 3.2.0 and so on okay so i'll just copy this and let me go back to let me go back to my plugins folder right of eclipse because you have to copy it here you have to copy this inside your plugins folder so uh, we'll go back here and see here there is a plugins folder okay there is a plugins folder double click on it and and here you paste it here you paste it okay this is the place where you should paste it okay done so i've copied it here now what we will do next is once you have copied this restart your eclipse okay launch your eclipse so if your eclipse is already up and running close this and restart okay so before i restart even i want to show you something so see launch eclipse and check if the plugin is uh, configured or not launch map reduce prospective so see what i have done here is i went to windows i went to prospective and i went to open prospective others let's do that okay so go to windows go to prospective open prospective and say others all right now here let me go little down see that's it okay so do you see anything called map reduce no right anywhere you don't see that you don't see that right because it needs a restart right now we have just configured the plugin but a restart is required so you are not able to see anything as such right so map reduce as such okay now let's restart this you can go to file and say restart from here okay instead of closing and opening it again so this will reboot uh, this will restart our eclipse let it restart it will go to the plugins folder it will load everything whatever is configured in the plugins and it should come back now let's go back we have restarted this now let's go back to um, windows and prospective and open prospective and others okay now see here you are able to see map reduce okay so what i'm trying to tell you is 200% this should work and if it is not working that means there is some issue with the with the eclipse and the plugin uh, you know integration possibly okay now we got this map reduce done now let's say open 
okay so when you say open then what happened you got a dfs location here and you got a map redis location here two things you got okay so now we will learn how to establish this, that connection between your eclipse and your sdfs so first thing first let's open terminal okay say jps you don't have anything up and running say start all dot sh let's start all the services okay this will start all the services in the meanwhile let's go back to the document which says this is what you should do and this is what you should get and we have we have got this map reduce right okay so once we clicked on that we got this option map reduce locations right now location master node state status whatever it is now what you do is right click on this area right click on this area on this area only and say new hadoop location okay this will give you a window this should give you a window wherein you can say hey i let me give a name i would say a local hadoop any name you can give you can say my location any any name you can give okay i'm saying local hadoop all right and host is local host right of course this will also be local host the port number would change okay and what is the port number you should use always follow my document okay now the port number that you should choose is location name and you can give any name okay for map reduce v2 master you give a port number 8088 this one v2 master you give your 8088 and dfs master you give 9000 okay so give 9000 these are the port numbers on which the services are running and listening to you okay and what the username as the user okay and then say finished done done okay now restart uh, sorry start your hadoop service if they are not running if they are already running then it's it's all uh, all okay okay you don't have to really do anything so let me go back to my uh, windows and let me say jps terminal and say jps 1 2 3 4 5 all these five services should be up and running right okay done next now expand this now expand this okay this is your local hadoop right in your local system expand this expand this now see here slash user sd user this is basically the directory of your sdfs we are able to do establish that connect uh, communication and we are able to see it here okay now what we will do is let me open this terminal okay and let me create some folders here hadoop fs hyphen mkdir this is what you do right hadoop fs hyphen mkdir and let me say slash tmp slash data okay and uh, hyphen p because you are creating uh, uh, you know you are trying to create the folder in sequence right so hit enter this will create a folder for us in our sdfs done now let's refresh this right click say refresh see i got two slash tmp slash data right under tmp there is one folder under data there is nothing right so we are able to create the folders from our terminal and then we are able to access it in in our eclipse right now similarly temp data right click and say create new directory and let's say suraj okay and then refresh it you need to refresh and now you go back to your terminal and say hadoop fs hyphen ls show me what is there inside slash tmp slash data okay and you will see a suraj folder is created right a suraj folder got created and who has created this folder it is created through eclipse now let's try to you know like upload some file into it so i'll go back and i'll create a file here uh maybe I'll, i'll go back to this and i'll say i'll say cd desktop okay i'm saying give me a file word.txt with a content echo uh, hello world in it right all right so we have created a file word.txt done now i would say hadoop fs hyphen uh, put a word.txt where to put slash tmp slash uh, let me check let me check i'll go back to this place i'll put it under slash tmp slash data slash suraj okay so slash tmp slash tmp slash data slash suraj okay so i'm trying to copy this word.txt into slash tmp slash data slash suraj and 
it says it's done let's say refresh this right and go inside this you're able to see word1.txt double click on it let's see what exactly it shows it shows you the content of the file right so Hadoop FS hyphen cat is also taken care here, right? So it will make your life simple when you are doing a, a program and then you want to check the output file. You can better go here and then check it from there rather than saying Hadoop FS hyphen cat, Hadoop FS hyphen text, and so on, right? Similarly, let me upload one file into this SD user. Right click and say upload file to DFS or upload the folder to DFS, right? So click on it and I would say. I want to upload, I'll go to my desktop and I want to upload this word1.txt, right? So, and again, say refresh, right? So now if you see word one, word.txt is uploaded here and we have used Eclipse approach to upload the data to uh, DFS, right? So that's how you can use this plugin to get all your basic work done, right? Of course, you cannot do a, a, a advanced concept here. For example, how do I even set uh, the replication factor of this? You cannot do that, right? So it's not for everything, but the basic operation, uploading the data into a SDFS, downloading the data from SDFS, those can be done. This copy, you cannot do it, right? So many things you cannot do it, but it will, it will at least help you to upload the data, delete the data and all. So if you want to delete this, you can say delete, right? That's how it works. So I hope you are clear about how to use this plugin um, for your work, right? So no worries, as we move on with the course, we'll be doing a lot of examples, a lot of practical, and every time we are going to use this uh, concept to, con to, to download the data, to upload the data, to delete the data, whatever it is, okay? So that's all we have from this particular discussion.